James W. Moody here, out again, exercising my mind, body, and constitutional rights, as always. I just like to think that, take the time to thank all the people that have spent the time, have taken the time to uh, comment on my recent YouTube videos and even the ones that are thumbs down uh, I believe that everyone's opinion is should be heard even if they don't agree with you so I, 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 I would especially like to, to uh, thank the new subscribers as well Thank you again, and uh, thank you for all your comments. Um, that's pretty much what I would like to talk about. Some of the comments as to some of my recent YouTube uploads. In particular, speaking of the one where Philadelphia Police Department violated my constitutional rights. So, I, I'm imagining that I can take an educated guess to say that most comments, or that all the comments are either coming from civilians, policy enforcers, or law enforcement. So, but this one guy, he goes, so far to accuse me of some type of game that I'm playing or some social experiment that I'm involved in and he's given all these reasons why I shouldn't exercise my constitutional rights. Well, as I said earlier, everyone's opinion should be respected, but everyone's opinion isn't law. As long as I'm able to legally carry, open carry, I'll do that at my discretion. Um, there are a lot of things going on here in the city, I agree. But none of them take away my rights as a human being, my basic rights as a human being. There's a big problem, and I think we can all work together to solve that problem without violating a person's uh, constitutional rights. Basic rights that everyone should respect. So, he went on to say this, YouTuber, yeah, well, you had better be glad that you were in the 14th district, police district. Well, that's an insult to say, I had better be glad that I'm in a place where only a few of my rights were violated. I mean, is that crazy that someone would take that type of stance against tyranny? <laughs> All right. Tyranny, oppression, and all the things that go along with that. But that's a question you can ask yourself. But he went on to say, I believe, well, you had better be glad that you weren't in the 24th district. Am I missing something? I mean, is this guy condoning or saying uh, something negative about me exercising my constitutional rights? And if I do it in a district of worst offenders, uh, against my rights 
it could have a very different outcome pointing towards being more negative for me, a person that is a law-abiding citizen, follows the Constitution, tries to do something to make myself great every day and pass that on, I should be happy. I should be happy, ecstatic, that I'm not in a district where lawfulness, corruption, is alive and well and thriving. Well, here's the thing. To the Philadelphia Police Department, it sounds like the folks at the Philadelphia Police Department are overdue for a crash course and civics, civics disobedience, and the problems they bring to the people and departments that support this type of behavior. So, I'd like to add that if you are Uh, if you are participating in these type of illegal activities and you plan on teaching law-abiding citizens a lesson, I can only tell you that if you're in need of a crash course in civil disobedience, You're looking at the right guy. You're looking at the right guy. I'm all for doing things right, but I'm not gonna have anybody take any way or thing away from me. My father always said, as when I was a little boy, son, you always stand up for what you feel is right. Now, it's not always going to be easy, but that's what you do. That's what I tell my kids. Always stand up for what's right. It may, may, be, may be hard. It may be uncomfortable. But that's what you're supposed to do. Now, that's a life lesson for me. And I'll follow that to the day I die. Which... There's no guarantee on how soon or how long that'll be. No guarantee. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to say today. All right, thank you again for taking the time to view the video and comment. It's a big deal because everyone's voice is heard and it's a big commitment because there seems to never be enough free time. So again, thank you for taking the time, making the time, and being a part of this, uh, this channel. James W. Moody, please like and subscribe.